On the birthday of one of the most influential women in British history, Portsmouth Anglican Cathedral put on a special event in her honour. Emmeline Pankhurst was the leader of the WSPU and face of the suffragettes. We're here today because I'm giving a lecture on Emmeline Pankhurst, who was the founder of the Women's Social and Political Union, or WSPU. She founded it in 1903 to campaign for the parliamentary vote for women. Well, it's very difficult writing a biography. Emmeline Pankhurst was born in 1858 and died in 1928, and you do find lots of gaps in her life, but I think my, my favorite bit is, of writing the biography is when I find her letters and I can use her words and also her speeches, because she was a very, very powerful orator and moved people to tears often with her pleading for the vote for women. They tried peaceful means of protest, they tried big demonstrations, and the Liberal government would not listen to them. I wasn't taught about the suffragettes at school, but I'd completed a lot of research on women's education in 20th century Britain, and I thought, what shall I do next? And I thought, well, I'll, I'll come in and look at the suffragette movement, and I've never left it. <laughs> Last night saw women turn up in their masses to listen to the lecture, and there were even a few men spotted amongst the crowd. It's important to remember that the suffragette campaign was not just a single issue campaign for the parliamentary vote, but they wanted equality for women in all walks of life. They wanted equality for women in employment, in pay, in the law, in marriage, etc. And that is still an important issue for women today. Knowing the Pankhurst inside out has had June consulting on the upcoming Meryl Streep film, Suffragettes. But last night was all about sharing a very exciting history. April Brown, Solent News Now.